Hello, hello, good evening, Veronica. Hi. Hi, good evening, teacher. How are you, Veronica? How was your day? A uh, wonderful day. Very nice. Okay, nice. <laughs> Well, you're the one on time. Let's see, Elena. Hello, Elena. You here? Hello, teacher. Hi, Elena. How are you? Hi, fine. Thank you, and you, teacher. Okay. Thank you, Elena. Nice to see you again. Okay. Fernando. Hello, Fernando. You're going home. Are you going home? Yes, my home. I think. Okay. Nilton, can you hear this, Nilton? What is Nilton? Hola, Nilton. teacher. Sorry, no escuché bien. Sí, ahora sí. ¿Cómo estamos, Nilton, con todos los poderes? Yeah, hoy sí, todo, todas las jornadas a las 10. Very good. Okay, so we're going to start in a moment. Hello, lady. Welcome. Hi, Miss. Hello, Thank hello. You. And Oscar. What are you, Oscar? Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Okay, uh, uh, estoy... welcome, guys. Hey. Yes, Oscar, how are you? Tell us. Uh, estoy, estoy tratando de conectar la, los audífonos. No okay. escucho ahorita. Okay, so we're going to start, guys, with our lesson for today. So we're starting a new unit in this, um, well, day. So just let me share with you the screen. And we can start. Okay. Well, let me tell you, I'm very happy to be here with you again, guys. Uh, I got a flu, but I'm okay. <laughs> well, so let's start, guys. So today is February the 8th, and let's see what do we have for this class. Um, let's see, lady, can you help us and read the, say, the agenda for this session? Session um, 11, warming up class objective pretask. Pass ought be and simple pass affirmative task preparation exercise task conversation wrap up as assignment. Okay, so let's start. So we're going to talk a little bit about a uh, simple pass, but first we're going to start with our warming up activity. And let's see, Rene, can you help us with the instructions for the warming up? I think he's connecting. Okay. Oh, okay. Instruction. Work in Paris. Work in Paris. No pairs. 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 Uh huh. Beautiful. Go in your answer. Share with the class. Participate actively. Okay. Very good. So we're going to have some uh, activities here. And we're going to uh, start discussing some activities that you could do in the past. So let's see. I'm going to um, select a big team. <laughs> and then you can continue selecting somebody else. Okay. Let's see, um, who wants to be the first one? I think the first goes for Veronica Burgos. Okay, let's see, Oscar, give me a number from one to 21. Okay. 15. 10. 10, okay. Um, the question is for you, Veronica, you have to try to answer. Could you play football well in the past? Yes, no. Oh, what are you reading to here? 
uh, question number 10, question 10. Okay, okay. Could you play football? Could you play favorite chess? Oh, I can say no. Mm -hmm. No, I couldn't. Okay. I could, no, I could. Okay, so just keep in mind that could, um, okay. Podría, right? And podía, too, right? Okay, let's see. Uh, remember that could is the past form for can. And so we're going to use that in that sense. So we're going to talk about activities that you could do in the past. I could sing, I couldn't sing. Okay, let's see, Veronica, um, select a classmate and give me a number from one to 21. Milton Vasquez. Okay, pick a number, Veronica. Uh, the number, number uh, five. Number five, okay. Nilton, uh, ask the question, Veronica. Could you fight when you were a child? Nilton, could you fight? Uh, could, uh, como se, file? Pelear, could you fight? Yeah. Uh, no, I I could. I could not. Okay. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. Okay. Okay, Nilton. Very good. Nilton, please help us. Give me a big team and a number. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Julio. Okay, Julio. And the number? Number eight. Eight. Okay, Nilton. Go ahead and ask the question. Could you ride a bike when you were sick? Yes. Okay, so you were really, um, well, you had the ability to ride a bike. Okay, very good, uh, Julio. Julio, can you help us and uh, select a person and a question for him or her? Fernando. Okay, Fernando. I think it's going, Fernando, you hear Fernando? So what is the question for Fernando, Julio? 11. 11, okay, 11. Read the question for Fernando. Could you shake when you were eight? Okay, could you skate when you were eight, Fernando? Yes, no? Um, yes. Yes, okay, nice. Fernando, please select a question and a victim. Um, lady. Lady, okay, so what is the está question? Está bien sonriente. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, um, eh, Por ti, ya me olvidó el 12. ¿Cómo se dice 12? 12, 12. 12. Uh, how did you make a birthday card when you were four years old? No, I couldn't. Just, <laughs> just a drawing for Santa Claus. Yes? No? <laughs> yes, I could. <laughs> ah, okay. So you could. You could uh, write, uh, well, make a birthday card, right? A drawing, probably. Okay, lady, please pick a question and select your victim. Mm. Ana Marlene. Okay. So what is the um, question for her? 20. 20, okay. Ask the question, please. Could you go out alone when you were a child? Okay. Marlene, could you go out alone when you were a child? So what's the meaning for go out? Go out, guys? Como salir sola? Sal uh -huh. Salir sola. Marlene, tell us, Marlene. Could you go out alone when you were a child? Teacher, estoy en el trabajo todavía. Okay, Marlene. Okay, don't worry. Let's see. Uh, ladies, select somebody else. Eh, Rosa de los Ángeles. 
Okay, Rosa. Question, the same question, Rosa. Yes, I could. Okay, so you could. Mm, okay. <laughs> so you were very independent. Um, Rosa, please uh, ask a question. Select your question and ask somebody. Tell me. Could you kind this when you were a child? What number is? Fifteen. 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 Yes, I. Okay, so well, I think the mass of us, right? Mass of us used to climb trees. <laughs> I remember. I fall. I fall on the tree. <laughs> okay, yeah, it happened to me too. <laughs> um, well, so we're going to talk about that in the future. <laughs> Let's see, Rene, please select a question and ask somebody. Um... Casi no, no se ven ahí, no sé si están trabajando todos los que nos han estado. Bueno. Elena Moratala. Yeah, Elena is here. Elena, uh, select okay. the question. Number seven. Who you draw? Well, well, when you were seven years old. Elena, could you draw? Elena. Hello. Ah, yes, Elena, could you draw? Question seven this is for you. Could you draw well when you were seven years old? So what's the meaning? Called you, okay? Draw. So, <laughs> dibujar. Yes, no. Could you draw when you were a child? Cuando tenía siete años, ¿podía dibujar? Could you draw? Uh, no. No. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I didn't. Well, I couldn't as well. Let's see. Um, Elena, please pick a question and ask a classmate. So you have uh, a lot of questions. Um, nine. Select a question. So you have one, two, uh, three, nine. nine. Let's see, nine. Okay, and the question is for? Uh, Diana. Diana, okay. Read the question, Elena. Read the question. Could you, could May. you make origami when you were a shield? Diana, hello, um, Diana. Where is Diana? Diana, could you, uh, could you make origami when you were a child? No. No, okay. No. Hmm. Well, yeah, that's right, right. <laughs> Diana, please pick a question. Number three. Number three, okay. Mm -hmm. And, uh, okay. Told you told when you were two years old. Para Veronica. Veronica, Veronica Burgess, okay. Veronica, do you remember? <laughs> do you remember Veronica? Could you talk when you were? Which number is the question? Number three, question three. Question three, would you talk when you were two years old? Oh, yes, I could. Really, two years old? Okay. Yes, say a parrot. <laughs> oh, wow, very good. Okay, Veronica, uh, please select another question. 
Okay, the question number six. Number six. Let's uh -huh. see. The question. For Diana, Mar Diana Maribel Hueso. Okay, Diana. Could you cook when you were eight? Yo, otra vez. Yes, okay. ¿Cuál fue? Uh, question six, question six. Could you cook when you were eight? Uh, no. No. <laughs> so me neither. <laughs> Yo tampoco. <laughs> Intentaba. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> okay, very good. Yeah, that's uh, right. That's fair. Um, Diana, please pick a question. So we have some more uh, questions. Number four. Number four, let's see, question four. Well, okay, so it's eh, here. Quiero ver para quién, para Clelia Estela. Clelia, okay. Read the eh, question. Could you read, could you read when you were five years old? ¿Qué número era? Question number four. Ah. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, okay. So could you read when you were five years old? Uh, okay. I remember that I memorized something when I was five or six. <laughs> but I don't remember what was it about now. <laughs> okay, Clelia, please pick a question. Um, uh, 60. Okay, question number six. No, pick another one. So we're the um, one. Uh-huh. 18. 18, okay. So the question is for? Para... Rafael. Rafael, okay. Um, could you eat many sweets when you were a child? Rafael? Activate your microphone, Rafael. ¿Cuál era el número? Uh, 18. So, could you eat many sweets when you were a child? Um, yeah. Sweets, candy? Uh -huh. yes. How many? One. Yes, uh, yes many. Many. How, how many? Todavía. Five. <laughs> ah, okay. So, you're still eating a lot of sweets. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Rafael, please pick a question. We have 17. Uh, 17. Okay, 17. The question is for? Um, um, Oscar René. Oscar, okay. Oscar. <laughs> Could you use a smartphone uh, when you were Two years old? What number? Uh, 17. 17. 17, okay. Uh, smartphone? No. <laughs> when you ten years old, no había a smartphone. You didn't know what a smartphone. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you couldn't, right? Uh, I remember that, uh, well, I remember that I... <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you had the idea. Okay. Yes, I'm oh, okay. Uh, I think that I got my first cell phone when I was like, uh, let's say, 10 around. No, no, 14 or something like that. 10 is too much. Uh, well, oh. uh, pick a question, Renee. And. Um... You have 21, 19, 21. 21. Would you play the piano when you were seven years old? No, I couldn't. And now? <laughs> no, I can't. No. No. <laughs> Uh, 
uh, I just remembered my auntie. <laughs> she brought me it. Um, it was like a radio. It has different sounds. So that's, yes. but it was not a piano. <laughs> it was something else. Uh, let's see. Um, yes, uh, lady, please. Uh, we have 14, 19, 1, and 2. And that's all I think. And 16. Um, called you growl when you were eight months. Okay. Blanca Tunaka. Blanca. Okay. Blanca, tell us. Blanca. Crow. What's the meaning for crow? Como gatear. Gatear. Okay. So could you crow? Blanca? Como? Who? Yes. I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember. But do you have any, I don't know, any idea about it? No? No remember. I don't you don't remember. Okay. Uh Blanca, please. We have question one, two, fourteen, and that's it. And sixteen. Number number two. Number two. Ask the number question, two. please. Could you could you swim when you were five? Okay. Fernando. Fernando. Fernando, could you swim? I know some babies that can swim. <laughs> Hello, Fernando, you here? He's not here. Okay, let's see. Um, how about you, Rafael? Could you swim when you were five? Oh, yeah. Um, okay, yeah, I could. Yeah. <laughs> I could. Yes, I could. Okay. Yes, I could. And let's see, we have two more questions, or well, three more questions. Could you speak English uh, well four years ago, guys? Could you speak English a little, very well? No? Okay. Let's see, uh, Veronica, could you speak? Speak English very uh, well four years ago. So so. Veronica so, Bert. Uh, uh -huh. so, so. Okay. Nice. And question 16. Let's share this together. Could you stay at home alone when you were seven? Do you remember this age? So could you stay at home alone? Yes. <laughs> We have no option. <laughs> okay, and question 14. So could you stand on one hand when you were a child? Yes, no? Yes. Oscar, Rafael, lady? Yes, I could. Uh -huh. 14. So could you stand on one hand when you were a child? Yes. yes? Okay. Yes, I could. Yes, I could. So I have been thinking about all these memories in the past. Okay, so it's the same. And we're going to continue with this uh, vocabulary practice for today. We're going to check. Uh, Let me see. Okay. So we're going to share uh, the vocabulary for today. We have been studying these uh, verbs but I want you to uh, focus in the simple past uh, form. So we have simple present, the infinitive, and we're going to study the past simple form. So we have a list of, well, we have like 40 verbs in here. So I want you to uh, memorize that and try to, um, well, learn them a lot, uh, as much as possible. You have to uh, try to memorize them. Okay, so well, there is no rule for the information for the formation of a regular verb. So you have to memorize the past form because there are some verbs that end in ed, right? Algunos de los verbos que terminan en ed son verbos regulares. Bueno, todos que terminan en ed. Y tenemos los verbos irregulares. So in this case, you have to memorize this because we don't have the, the same rule. 
There is no rule, in fact. Okay, so let's practice, guys. Uh, we're going to start with this one. B was, were, go, went, say, said. So just let me know if you have questions about any verb. Become, became, grow, grew, see, saw, okay? Let's see, I'm going to mark that so you won't get lost. Uh, begin, began, have, had, sell, sold. Next one, break, rock, hear, heard, send, sent, bring, brought, hit, hit, shoot, shot, okay? Build, built, hold, held, sing, sang. The next one is buy, bought, heard, heard. It's the same, sit and sat. Okay. Catch, caught, keep, kept, sleep, and slept. Come, came, know, knew, speak, spoke. Cut, cut, leave, left, left, spend, spent. Do, did, let, let. So what's the meaning for let? Guys, let. Let. Uh-huh, let. So what's the meaning? What's the meaning? Permitir. Permitir, okay. Stand, stood. Drink, drank. Lie, lay. Swim, swam. Drive, drove. Light, lit. Take, took. Eat, ate. Make, made. Teach, taught. Fall, fell. Meet, met. Tell and told. Fight, fought. Pay, Paid, think and thought, thought, thought. I thought you were studying yesterday night. Yeah, I thought you were doing the exam, but you weren't. See, find, found, put, put, it's the same. Throw, threw. Fly, flew. Read, read, read. 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 Mm -hmm. And simple present is read. We read a book. And in simple past, you're going to say, I read a book. Read. Understand. Understood. Right? Get. Got. Write. Wrote. Were. 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 Uh -huh. I wore a um, jacket and let's Whoa. say the blue t-shirt, for example. Give, gave, run, run, on, on. Okay, so let's see. Who wants to try with the first uh, part? So we're going to read the first one. This uh, column, this column. Simple present and simple past. Somebody, let's see. Any volunteer? Me, hey, teacher. Okay, Veronica, go ahead. Okay, be, was, were, become, became, begin, began, break, broke, bring, brought, will, built. Okay, build, built, 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 by, boat, catch, Caught. Cut. Come. Cut. Cut. Come. King. Cut. Cut. Do. Did. Drink. Rank. Dry. Roll. Eat. Ate. All. Felt. 
fight out, find found, fly blue, get gut, give gate. Okay, thank you so much, Veronica. Let's see, second column. Who wants to try with this one? Second column. Second column, we have go, went. Anybody? Oh, me or oh, somebody else? Ah, yeah, we have Blanca. Thank you, Veronica. Go ahead, Blanca. Go, go, went, grow, grew, mm -hmm. grow, 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 okay. grow, grow. Half, half, here, here, hit. Hit all hell or hell hurt 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 keep keep no new leave leave left uh -huh. let let Lee, lie, lay, lie, lay, 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 Met. Mm -hmm. Pay. Pay. Mm -hmm. Put. Put. Read. 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 Roll. Run. 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 Okay. Run and run. 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 Okay, Blanca, very good. Let's see, we need somebody else for the last column. Okay, anybody? Column number three, say and said. Okay, Oscar, go ahead. Say, 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 okay. Say, sell, sell. Sell, sell, be sell. Sell, hold, send, send. Shot, shot, shoot, shoot. Sing, sing, hit, shot. Lift, lift. Slept, Pick. slept. Left, mm -hmm. pick, pock. Spend, spend, stand, stop, clean, slap, taste, stop, teach, go, tell, go, think, song, draw, read, read, through, through, understand, understood, where, were. All hours. Aunt. 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 Okay, so let's practice once more and later uh, while well, you're going to practice with somebody. B was, were, become, became, begin, began, break, rock, bring, rot, build, built, buy, Bot, bot, catch, caught, caught, come, came, cut, cut, do, did, drink, drank, drive, throw, eat, ate, ate, fall, fell, fight, fought, find, found, fly, flew, get, Got, give, and gave. Okay, the next column go, went, grow, grew, have, had, here, 
hurt, hit, hit, hold, held, hurt, hurt, keep, kept, no, new, leave, and left, left, let, let, lie, lay, light, lit, make, made, meet, met, pay, paid, put, put, read, read, write, wrote, run, and run, say, said, see, saw, sell, sold, send, sent, shoot, shot, sing, sang, sit, sat, sleep, slept, speak, spoke, spend, spent, stand, stood, swim, swam, take, took, teach, taught, tell, told, think, thought, 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 throw, through, throw, through, understand, understood, understand, understood, were, were, on, ont, ont, d, ont. Okay, very good, guys. So now let's continue. I'm going to pass the attendance list. Um, just want you to keep in mind that vocabulary. Uh, if you want, well, I want you to take a screenshot from that vocabulary since you're going to use it in some uh, sentences or activities that we're going to do. Okay. Okay, uh, say present, please. Ana Marlene Andrade Osorio. Present. Thank you, Marlene. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Okay. Blanca Isabel Tuneca Rodríguez. Present. Present. Blanca, ah, okay, thank you, Blanca. Blanca Luz Delgado Flores. Blanca Luz Delgado Flores. Present. Carlos Miguel Umaña Lobo. Thank you, Miguel. Carlos Roberto Argueta. Carmen Elena Morataya Alas. Present teacher. Thank you. Carmen Guadalupe Galvez. Present. Thank you, Carmen. Clelia Estela Flores Molina. Present. Thank you. Daniel Alberto Ramos. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you, Diana. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Jorge Luis Castaneda Martín. Thank you, Fernando. Jorge Luis Castaneda. What is George? Okay. Juan Ezequiel Rivera Lemos. Julio Cesar Aguillón Arevalo. Present. Thank you, Julio. Present. Lady Joanna Hernandez. Present, Miss. Thank you, Lady. Nilton Alexander Vasquez Galvez. Present. Thank you, Nilton. Oscar René Molina. Present, teacher. Rafael Antonio Hernandez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Rafael. Rosa de Los Angeles Enriquez. Present. Thank you, Rosa. And Veronica Elizabeth Burgos. Present teacher. Thank you, Veronica. Ah, OK, Blanca. OK, ahí lo vamos a marcar entonces, Blanca. Present teacher. Blanca, de la, de la reunión. OK. Sería bueno, quizás el internet que está fallando. Sería bueno checar eso. Sí, porque intento, como se llama, activar la cámara y le, se me y la sale saca. de la reunión. Ah, ok. Entonces, Ajá. sí. Está bien, no hay problema, Blanca. Ok. okay. Nice. So, let's continue, guys. Um, listen up. Uh, we will continue with some other activities. And we have the class objective for today. So, let's see. Um, uh, lady, please, can you help us with the class objective? 
participants will be able to write three sentences using the past of B and the simple past in an affirmative way correctly individually. Okay, individually, individually, you, individually. Okay, very good. So we're going to start learning a little bit about a um, simple past. We're going to discuss some questions. So we're going to ask and answer these questions. So where did you go for your last vacation? Guys, tell me. Past tense for go to the beach. Okay, so what's the past tense for go? Was. Go. Past tense for go. Command. Was. When, right? Yes, when, right? Um. Okay, so I'm going to tell you where I went. I went to, let's see. Okay, I went to San Jose Guayabal. How about you guys? Where do you go for your last vacation? Let's see, tell me, give me ideas. So where do you go? I, I went, went to the beach. You went to? To the beach. To the beach, okay. How about you, Oscar? Where do you go? I went to the Washington, D.C. Okay, so you went to Washington. How about you, Rafael? I went to uh, El Pital, the, the, the Pital. Okay, El Pital. How about you, Rosa? Where did you go for your last vacation? I went to Guatemala. Guatemala, okay. I love Guatemala, I love El Pital. I haven't been gone to Washington, but I think I, I I would love it. Okay, so you went to Guatemala. How about you? Let's see somebody else. Nilton, where do you go? Nilton? Uh, in my last vacation, I went to... Uh, Santa Ana. Santa Ana. Okay, Santa Ana. Where do you live, Nilton? In San Salvador? Yes, I live in Ciudad Delgado. Ah, okay, nice. Let's see, how about you, uh, Blanca? Where do you go, Blanca? I went to... <laughs> I went to um, San Miguel. San Miguel, okay. And let's see, um, Rosa, how about you, Rosa? I don't know if I asked you already. I went to... Oh, you you Costa mentioned Rica. Guatemala, right? Okay. <laughs> uh, Costa Rica. <laughs> Costa Rica too, okay, very good. So it's nice traveling. How about you, Julio? Where do you go? I went to El Cerro Verde. El Cerro Verde, okay. Yes, I know El Cerro Verde. It's a beautiful place. Okay, so let's continue with the next question. So next question says, what did you learn at school? Uh, well, here in the classes, what did you learn yesterday? So what is the past tense for learned? Guys, can you spell it? Learned. Learned, okay. Learned or learned. So you have two options, learned or learned. So tell me, guys, what did you learn yesterday? I'm gonna use this one. I learned about, tell me. I learned about uh, uh, to use go. Use May and Might. May and Might. Like, May okay. and Might. Uh, Rafael, how about you, Rafael? You learned about? Yeah, uh, I learned about um, to uh, go 
I'm to go, going to. Ah, okay. The usage of a uh, be going, right? Yeah. Okay. So um check this. Learned. Learned. So yeah. uh -huh. so you have to be careful with the pronunciation. Learn, simple present, right? Learned, simple past. I learned about learned. may and ah. might. Okay. So you can select uh, either learned with D or learned with T. Okay. Learned and learned. Okay. What else? Uh, lady, what do you remember about, let's say, the previous weeks? What did you learn last week? I learned is well like in present or future desires. Ah, okay. So you learn about would like and the usage to express a wish in the present and in the future. Okay, very good. Let's see. Oscar, what did you learn um, last week too? Last week. Uh, huh? different verbs. You learned about? Learned about uh, pronunciation. Ah, okay, pronunciation. Okay, so you learned about pronunciation. And the last question, let's see, Blanca, what did you learn last week? I learned uh, modal my oh. and my. Okay, so you learned about modal verbs, may and might. Okay, very good, guys. So let's continue with the next question. Okay. So what was your first memory? What was your first memory? Su primer recuerdo. So what is your, what was your first memory? Any idea? Your first memory? My first memory is a pet, but the number is only one. Okay, so your first memory is about your first, mm -hmm, your first pet, okay. Yes. That's about my first pet. Okay, so what is the name of that pet? Oh, well, actually, what was the name? Uh, repeat it, please. Suleiman. Suleiman. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It sounds like uh, the name of, a, let's say, a Turkish name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay um, let's see. Uh, Veronica, what's your first memory? Thank you, teacher. Uh -huh. What was your first memory? Any idea? My first memory. My first memory when was uh, mm -hmm. about the kindergarten. About the kindergarten. Okay. Okay. How about you, lady? So, what was your first memory? My first memory was about um, my mom left home. About your mom? Cuando se fue a la casa. Ah, okay. What's about? You can say when she left, right? Okay, let's see. Tell us, uh, Julio, your first memory. So, what was your first memory? My first memory was about 
و وين وي لف سان سالوا So when you moved, yes. when you moved from San Salvador to? To Lourdes. To Lourdes, okay. Okay, when I moved, when I moved from San Salvador okay, to Lourdes. Okay, next question. Let's see what do we have for the next question. Who was your first friend? Do you remember that, guys? Who was your first friend? Blanca, who was your first friend? Do you remember that? Yeah, my first my first friend was um Alexette. Alexandra. Lisette. Ah, Lisette. Was Lisette? Where did you um, met her? I think this way, right, Lisette? <laughs> okay. Where did you met her? Where did you met her? And la conoce. Where did you meet her? School. I met her in the university. Ah, okay, at university. Okay, tell us a little bit about you, uh, Veronica. Who was your first friend? My first friend was Gloria. Gloria, and where did you meet her? I met her at school. So you met her I was in second grade. Second grade, okay. So you still remember Gloria. Um, how about you, Oscar? Teacher, pero la pregunta es tu primer amigo o tu mejor amigo? No, your first. First. Uh -huh. Okay. My, my first friend is uh was was um, Timothy Glick. Okay, and where do you met? Uh, uh huh. Where do you met her? Him or her? Timothy. Is the number Timothy? That's the name. Timothy. 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 Okay, and Timothy. where did you? In Spanish is Timoteo. Timoteo. It's that a cartoon? No. No. Uh, is that... No, <laughs> uh, it's a person. Because <laughs> 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 you're saying Timothy, I probably is a cartoon. <laughs> no, no, it's a people, it's a person. Okay, where did you meet him? It's a boy it's or a girl? A boy, uh, right? Uh, North American. Okay, okay, nice. Let's see, uh, how about you, uh, Rosa? Tell us, Rosa, who was your first friend? <laughs> My first friend was Ceci. Ceci, and where did you meet Ceci? I met her at In Framen. In Framen, okay, at high school. Okay, I nice. Think. How about you, Nilton? Who was your first friend? Tell us. Mm. My first friend uh, was Harrison. Harrison, okay. And where did you meet Harrison? In the kinder. In the kinder, okay. Okay, nice. Let's see, let's uh, check what, what else do we have for this. So I think you're ready for the topic. What do you eat for breakfast, guys? What do you eat for breakfast? So what do you I, eat for breakfast? I, I, it's I, too, uh, yes, Oscar? Yes. 
two x. Two x and what else? Just cheese. that. Cheese. Okay. How about Onion. you? Uh huh. Plantains. No. 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 Any only protein. protein. Only protein. Only proteins. Yes, because yeah. you love exercising, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, Oscar? No, no, only eggs and cheese. Eggs and cheese. Tortillas? No, tortillas. No. Okay. Meat? <laughs> Any? No. no meat. No. Breakfast okay. only. only that. Okay. Marlene, how about you, Marlene? I ate fried banana, beans, cheese, yes, okay, pan dulce, and coffee. <laughs> and coffee, okay. Um, okay, Julio, how about you, Julio? I'm getting hungry. <laughs> what do you eat for okay. breakfast? Uh... I ate egg, a platinum. Plantains, plantains. Plantains. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, vena. Um, with Me meal. No, that's um, wheat, mm -hmm. I think. Wheat. Oh. Mm -hmm. Quaker, right? <laughs> what girl, huh? I mean, what so we have let me check that okay. well we're gonna check that later i don't remember now and how about you diana you uh-huh what do you eat for breakfast a very nice oatmeal um uh-huh Sandwich? A sandwich. Just that. Oh. Okay. Nice. Uh, Rosa, tell us about your meal. So what do you eat? Um, um, eat um, and milk. Mm -hmm. um, banana. And tamales. Okay. <laughs> Well, let's see. Next question. What was the last thing you bought, guys? What was the last thing you bought? I bought a pill. How about you? Okay. What was the last thing you bought? A uh, blanket? Blanca, Blanca, what did you bought? What, what was the last thing you bought? So I bought a pill in the morning. Uh -huh. How about you? I bought um, the last thing you bought. The, uh, Right. Um, I I bought a cartera in, in English. A wallet, a purse, a wallet. I don't know what you mean. A bag. Okay, how about you, uh, Oscar? Yes, I bought uh, vitamins. Vitamins. Mm -hmm. Julio? I bought shoes. Shoes? Shoes? Yes. Ah, okay, good. Julio? Uh, oh, well, Rafael, sorry. Uh, I bought um, a drill. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, nice. 
uh, yeah, get me one. And let's see, how about you, lady? So what was the last thing you bought? I, I bought was... heels. Heels, too? Yeah. Okay. So we're not, well, we got a few, right? <laughs> okay, uh, guys, question. What was the last sport you played? Soccer, what else? Tell me. So what's the last sport you played? What was the last sport you played, guys? Anybody? Basketball, soccer, tennis. I I play football. Okay, football. I played uh, trompo. Trompo, okay. Trompo. Trompo. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I play Joyo. the Joyo. Joyo, I play Joyo. The <laughs> okay. No, you know, you know Capirucho? Yes, I know. <laughs> but I uh, can't play. I try. No. I don't know. How much is a Joyo nowadays? <laughs> Do you know how much is a Jojo? No? And how about you, Nilton? Nilton? What was the last sport you played? Uh, I played swimming. Natación. Swimming. Yeah. I repeat it, please. Natación. Nadar. Ah, Ese sería swimming. Como deporte, ¿no? Swimming. Ah, swimming. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I went swimming. I played swimming. Okay. Uh, you went swimming. You went. You went swimming. Okay, okay. I, I went swimming. Okay. Okay, guys. And, okay, so we, we will continue with that. And we're going to work uh, right now on the manual. We're going to um, work on page 29. Just let me open that. Page 29. If you have it, you can open it. Oh, okay, so we're going to uh, do that um, after this. So look at this. We have the instruction for this activity. Pay attention to the use of verb to be in the past as well as the use of simple past affirmative. We're going to check that two grammar points. And uh, this is just um, a reminder about what the verb to be is because it's the same usage for the past form. So we're going to use this in order to talk about color, age, um, prices, a job, the weather, the nationality, the time, feelings, and descriptions. So these are the usages for verb to be. So they are the same, of course, for the past form, right? Okay. So now we're going to check the usages for past simple. So what are the usages? Uh, can you help us with the first usage, please, uh, lady? Past simple. This, this one here. Past simple, past completed actions. We went to the zoo last week. Sorry, what do you say? Mm -hmm. We normally say or both the speaker and the listener now when these actions happen. Mm -hmm. So we normally say or both the speaker and the listener know when these actions happen. So we went to the zoo last week. So we talk about past completed actions in the past, right? So we went to the zoo last week. So it's done. So I went to the zoo. Uh, the next usage, please, uh, Oscar, here. 
was habit of faith when often went to the book after work. He really liked sport and was very fit. Okay. Okay, so we often went to the pub after work. So we talk about past habits or states. He really liked sport and he was very fit. Like this, we often went. Well, you can also use uh, frequency adverbs with the uh, past simple. And we say uh, the following sentence. We often went to the pub after work. Íbamos con frecuencia al bar, ¿verdad? Después del trabajo. He really liked sport. A él le gustaba muchísimo el deporte y estaba en, en forma, right? So we're talking about a uh, state. ¿Cómo estaba? En forma. Now, uh, the next usage. Please help us with this one, Blanca. Yes, sí, we found that start in finish in the past. I played football for 10 years. How long did you live in Brussels? Brussels. I learned her signs that day we meet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're talking about actions that started and finished in the past. So we're talking about the duration. Hablamos de actividades que iniciaron y terminaron en el pasado y tuvieron cierta duración. Por ejemplo, I played football for 20 years. So it means that I don't play anymore, right? So I started this activity in the past and I finished the activity. So I don't play anymore. I played football for 20 years. How long did you live in Brussels? ¿Cuántos años viste en Brussels? So probably 20 years, four, uh, five, we, we don't know, but the action started in the past and finished in the past. I loved her since the day we met, okay? And we also have another usage. Can you help us with that one, please, Julio? Narr narrative use. Okay. Even, okay. Over, mm -hmm. even of a story in chronological order. She opened the door, looked at us, and went to her. Her room. Okay, so here you have another usage where you describe a situation, right? Where you describe a story or the events that happened in a chronological order. So she opened the door, looked at us, and went to her room. So she studied the class, taught us the class, and we practice, right? So we have a chronological order of the events. So these are some of the usages that you have with uh, the simple past tense. I don't know if you have any question about these usages, guys. Questions? No questions. Okay, so let's continue. We have some um, activities in here. We're gonna check was and were. So let me know if you can see the presentation, guys. Can you see it? Can you see the screen, guys? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay, hold on. Okay, we're going to start with the usage of verb to be, right? So we have a to be. So what is the past tense for to be? Was, was and where. Where, right? So let's conjugate that. I was, you, was or where? Where. Where, where right? How about he, she, and was. it? Was. Was. Was, right? And how about they? Were. Were and 
we were, right? So this is the structure that you're going to follow for the um, affirmative sentences. This is the structure that we have in this case. So look at the following examples. Tom is at school today. Tom was at home yesterday, right? So let's continue with some other, other examples. So we are comparing simple present and we're comparing simple past with verb to be. Okay, so there you have it. We're going to modify that. How about the next sentence? Can you read that one, please, Oscar? Tom is at the school today. Tom is was school today. Ah, okay. No, the, um, uh -huh. no. We are at school today. The second one here. Okay. We are at the school today. We were at home yesterday. Okay. So just keep in mind that if you have a singular pronoun, you're going to use was, um, and if you have a plural, you're going to use were, even though you has a singular and plural form, so you're going to use a were. Okay, so now let's check a chart that we have here. So we have the subject pronoun, affirmative sentence, and the negative form too. I was at school yesterday. I wasn't at school yesterday. So this is the contraction for was not, right? Was not, contraction, wasn't, wasn't. I wasn't school yesterday. Let's see. How about, what do you think about these pronouns? So what is the past form? For where. The, where. And the where. negative form? Where. One. Weren't, okay. So we have the long form, we're not, the contraction, weren't, right? Okay, so let's continue. We have some examples and look at the questions. Okay, so any idea, how do we form the questions? How do we form the questions? Ideas? Okay, so for the questions, you have to invert the order back again. As in yes, no questions. So you're going to place a was and we're at the beginning. In second place, you have the subject pronoun and the rest of your sentence and the question mark, right? Was I at school yesterday? Was he at school yesterday? Was she at school yesterday? Were we at school yesterday? So what do you think about the answer? Yes, no answer. So what could be? Yes, I was. No, I? Wasn't. Mm -hmm. Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Okay. Estaba en la escuela ayer? Estuve en la escuela ayer? Estaba quien? Ella en la escuela ayer? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were you at school yesterday? Were you at work yesterday, Veronica? Yes, I was. Uh, yes, I was. Okay. Uh, Veronica, uh, was a lady um, in our class yesterday? Oh, lady. Okay, I, I'm going to repeat the question. Was lady at uh, our in our class yesterday? Yes, she yes. was in the class yesterday. Yes, she was. Okay. Negative. No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. Okay, so let's check some more examples. Can you read that examples, please, uh, lady? Can you repeat, please? 
Uh, read the read the short answers, the questions with the short answers. Okay. Uh, was he at home yesterday? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Were you at home yesterday? Yes, you were. No, you weren't. Okay, nice. So important, remember that you're going to use a verb to be with your answer. Was he at home yesterday? Yes, he was. Notice that we agree with the verb and the subject pronoun. Yes, he was, singular, singular form, right? No, he wasn't. Uh, were you at home yesterday? Yes, you were. No, you weren't. Let's see, we have some, well, I think we have some sentences. Bob and Bill. Okay, uh, can you help us with that, Rafael? Read the sentence. Uh, one day, Bill was hungry. Okay, continue, Veronica. Bob. Continue, continue, read it, please. Okay, um, Bob. Make it no carga. Who was hungry too? Oh. Okay, y ahora? Ya cargo? The Bob was hungry too. Okay, hungry. Bob was hungry too. Bob was hungry too. Okay. Oscar. Fred was in the park. Okay. Blanca, continue. He wasn't hungry. Mm -hmm. He wasn't hungry. Continue, please, Julio. Rocktail. Benji. The Benji and Beethoven were also in the park. They weren't hungry. Okay. Help us, lady, continue with the next one. They were happy. Okay, they were happy. Continue, please, uh, Rafael. Tell say there was, uh, todavía no termina de cargar. I seen okay. Bill. Okay, there was a sign. That side, the, there Bill. was a sign Bill. Okay, so Ted said there was a sign Bill. There was a sign Bill. Uh -huh. Okay, help us with this one, Elena. Hi, teacher. Read it, please, read. Read the slide. He also said it was very funny. Okay, it was very funny. Help us, Nilton. Still charging, okay. Go ahead, Nilton. So we were in the park too. Okay, soon, soon. What's the meaning, soon? Soon we were in the park too. Okay, pronto, right? Continue, Nilton. We were fast and we were still hungry. Okay, so what's the meaning for hungry? 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 Hambriento. Hambrientos, right? So they were hungry. Okay, continue please with this one, uh, Diana. There was a chest, chest in the sandbox. Okay. Continue, continue, Diana. No, I can't remember this. It okay. was full of bones. Okay, it was full of bones. Okay. 
Continue, Diana. There, there were bonds for everyone. Okay, so there were bonds for everyone. Okay, um, continue with this, uh, Rosa. There was a bond for both, and one for her, and one for Fred. Mm -hmm. Okay. Continue, Rosa. There were bonds everywhere. <laughs> okay. And uh, Veronica, go ahead. The friends were not cargado, teacher. Okay. <laughs> Still charging? Yes. Your friends were never more hungry. Okay, so that's a story about, about them, okay? So now let's try to uh, rearrange, uh, well, to set um, the, the correct answers in that spaces, okay? I, were, wasn't, or weren't. Can you see this? Yeah. Ah, okay. I, wasn't. At home yesterday. Okay, I wasn't at home yesterday. How about number two? I was. was I was at school. Okay, I was at school. It's a story. I was. I was happy. Okay. My friends. I was happy because because my friends my friends were at the were school at school too. School too. Were at school. Okay, my friends were at school too. They they were happy too. They were in? No. They were were they were happy too. Okay, can you read this story please? Uh, anybody who wants to try reading? I'm going to read it first and then you you do it. I wasn't at home yesterday. I was at school. I was happy because my friends were at school too. They were happy too. Okay. Um. Anybody who wants to try? Me too. Okay. Uh. Let's see. Rafael. I wasn't at home yesterday. I was. I was cool. I was happy because my friends were at school too. They were happy too. Okay, nice. Uh, lady? I wasn't at home yesterday. I was at school. I was happy because my, because my friends were at school too. They were happy too. Okay, too. They were happy too because, because. Okay, let's continue with another story. Help us with this. Tom. Wasn't, was in the playground last week. Okay. He. He was with his dad. He was with, with his dad. Tom's mom. Tom. Tom's mom Where? was in the playground. Where? Okay, was so it? let's try. No. Where? No. <laughs> Tom's mom. Where? Wasn't. Where? Was it? Was wasn't. It? Wasn't. Okay. Wasn't. Okay. Oh. Tom? Mm. Was on the slide. It was on the slide. Okay. No. No, Gordon. 
weren't Tom. No, weren't? no, no, wasn't. Wasn't. Okay, it's, it's he. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Tom wasn't on the slide. He. 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 He was on the swing. On the swing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nice. Let's see. Who wants to try reading this one? Anybody? Blanca? Okay, Blanca, go ahead. Read the, the sentences. Tom was in the playground last week. Read. Tom Read. was uh -huh. in the playroom last week. Was también eso was somewhere. No, just the uh, sentences. Uh, he was with his heart. Tom's mom wasn't in the playroom. Tom wasn't in the on the slide. On the slide. He was on the swing. He was on the swing. Okay, so let's continue with another one. Sally and Tom. Sally and Tom? Were in the zoo last weekend. Okay, so they were in the zoo last weekend. There was, were, or were in? Yeah. Where? There. Where? Where? There were no. Oh, oh the imagine. Okay, so there were so elephants. Solo hay uno. Elephants. In elephants. The in the zoo, let's see. Well, yeah, just say one. <laughs> okay. And they, <laughs> so what do you think? They were hooks. They yeah. were uh, huge. Uh, huge. But the children... We're scared. We're scared. Was it was, was scared. Weren't. Children was scared. Children, children. 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 It was weren't. Right. Weren't they right? Children. It was wasn't a word. Great. Was, was. It was, was great. It was great. Okay. Help us with this one. Yesterday it was snowy. Okay. Yesterday yeah. it was snowy. It was. Was. was Okay, wasn't hot, but the boys had both weren't. Both. Weren't. 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 Uh -huh. weren't. Okay. Sad. They, they were happy. Were they happy. Happy. Okay. The children were in the garden. In the garden. Where? 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 Okay. And I think that we're going to finish with this one. Okay. We we were in the street yeah. last Monday. Okay. We so were we're in the street last Monday. It. Wasn't, wasn't quiet. Wasn't, wasn't, wasn't quiet. Wasn't. Uh -huh. It wasn't quiet. It. It was very noisy. It was very noisy. What's noisy? Ridoso. Ridoso. Okay. There. There were many cars. Yeah, there were many cars. Yes, right? Habían demasiados carros. There. No. There, wherein wasn't Loris, Loris too. Where there were, right? Okay, and I okay, we're going to stop me. How was the mean Loris teacher? Los camiones, I think. Uh -huh. Loris. Loris, okay, so now we're going to check this. Uh, look at this. We have uh, past simple tense for the other verbs. So we have checked the verb to be. So now let's check uh, the rest of the verbs. Let me see. 
Okay, hold on. Okay. Give me a second. There is some stake in there. Okay, so let me know if you can see the um, presentation. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, so notice the structure that we're going to use with the past tense form, subject plus verb. So that's all, right? Um, past simple. There is only one form of each verb in the past simple tense. So the exception is to be. So, But we already discussed that which has two forms, was and were. But the rest of the verbs, they just have one form, right? I lived in a small apartment. He lived in a big house. They played football yesterday, okay? To make the past tense verb, we normally just add ed to the end of a regular verb. Examples, play, plate, rain, rained, cook, cooked, watch, watched, need, needed, want, wanted. If the regular verb already ends in E, we just add D to the end. Entonces tenemos acá que si el verbo termina en vocal, pues solamente vamos a agregarle la D, right? This is uh, just for regular verbs. In the case of irregular verbs, uh, you have to memorize that, as I mentioned in the vocabulary activity. Live, okay, I lived, right? Smile, smiled, dance, danced. So what we have to be, uh, well, what's important here is that you uh, must be careful with the pronunciation. And I hope that we can study that in, in the next class. Sim. Okay, I don't know if you have questions about it. So how about a bird like go? So what do you think about a bird like this? Go, what's the past tense for go? The past tense? Uh -huh. so past tense for go? When? When? when. Past tense for have? Uh, has. Have. Has. Uh -huh. Past tense for do? Did. 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 Okay, so this is um these are some of uh, the regular verbs that we have, and just keep in mind that you don't add something like this, right? So that that would be incorrect. So you have to memorize these um well these irregular forms. Entonces ahí nos queda no nos queda otra más que memorizarnos las formas irregulares. Okay, um well let's check an exercise. We're going to practice uh, this for a while. And we're going to check a story. So we need to uh, help me reading this again. Uh, can you see the slide? Ver ahí la diapositiva? Can you see the slide? Yes, tell me. Can you see it? The Simpson holiday. Okay, so we're going to talk about, we're going to check what they did during the holidays. So let's check. Um, volunteer, help us with this. Uh, Veronica, let's start with you back again. Last summer. Last summer, Bart and Lisa helped their dad to plan their holidays. Okay, so they planned the holidays. Continue, Oscar. Oscar, continue. I tell your microphone. Okay. They, they decide decided to go, to, uh -huh. decided to go to the beach. Homer dropped the later start to the south. Okay, south. So they decided to go to the beach. Homer dropped their red car to the south. Okay, Blanca, continue. At the beach, bar surf. surfed. Uh -huh. A big wave and and web and magic made 
A beautiful web and Maggi made a beautiful sand made castle. a beautiful sand, sand castle. castle. Okay, nice. So at the beach, bar surfed a big castle. wave. So this is the wave, right? The wave. And Maggie and made, she made the what? No, I just sent uh, the read the uh, bad bunny. <laughs> Uh, Oscar, can you repeat it? Ah, esas letras como que las ha escrito Bad Bunny, le digo, pero eso no se puede leer. Están <laughs> <laughs> castos. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of uh, different, right? Let's see. Help us with this one, Julio. I grabbed the Homer's nose and Lisa threw a bucket of water of bars back okay diana but continue diana continue bart and his sisters had fun them dancing on the sand they were water clothes made of green labels uh -huh. okay so they were clothes made of green leaves so they're wearing uh clothes made of green leaves okay uh continue please uh, rafael at night omer omer and margaret uh, went to the disco they dance to latin music <laughs> okay, they dance Latin music. A lady. A few days later. A few days later, they went to the mountains. It was, it was hot, so they had a bath in a small lake. Okay, Nilton. After that, Lisa rode his bike. And bar when staking, staking, skating. Uh -huh. skating. So after that, Lisa rode her bike and bar went skating. Okay, continue, please. Um, let's see, Elena. The next day, Amer went fishing. Okay, Clelia. As he was as he was hungry, he ate a dog. A donut. A donut. A donut. Okay. A rosa. Maggie and the girls pick some beautiful flowers. Okay, so March and the girls picked some beautiful flowers. Blanca? They went back home happy. Mm -hmm. Happily. And, okay, so do you remember where did the family go last summer? Do you remember? Where did they go? Beach. To the beach, okay. How did they go they there? They go to the beach. Uh -huh. How did they go there? Como? How did they go there? Como for them? In the car. In the car. Red. Oh, in in the red car. Who dropped the car? Homero. Oh, Homero dropped the car. Yes. Mm -hmm. What did Bart do at the beach? Ay, la ola grande. Yeah. 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 The wolf. Okay, so let's check that again. So let's see, where is that? I think it was one of the first ones. He, okay, and so here we have big wave, big wave. A, big a big wave, okay. So he sort a big wave. So you already have the answers. Let's check. Okay, so did Maggie swim there? 
Do you remember guys? Yes, no? Do you remember guys? No. A small lake. Uh huh. So she swam in the lake. Okay. So what did she do? She so danced. She danced. Okay. What else? What happened to Comer? She ate donuts. Okay. Mm -hmm. But something happened to him. Don't you hungry. remember? He was hungry? Mm, no. Something happened to his nose. A crab nose. Uh-huh. A crab? A crabby Homer nose. Uh-huh. Uh, yes. And what did Lisa do? Any other activity? Uh, threw a bucket of water of bar back. Yes, so she threw a bucket of water to a bird. Why did the children have fun? Any idea? Por qué? Por qué se yo entiendo? Yeah. Yeah. A castle. Mm. Ah, they did a lot of activities. What did they wear? They remember that they were leave, uh, wearing something. Leaves. Green? Uh -huh. Leaves. Leaves. Uh -huh. Leaves. Okay. So where did their parents go at night? Dancing, music, dancing. Parents go to a disco to dance a Latin music. Yes, right? So did they dance to rock music? No. No, right? No, Where did their family no. go later? Um, they go to the... Being in the lake. <clears throat> uh -huh. They went to the lake. And? What's it called there? No. No, right? No. Did they have a bath in a river? Mm, yes. Mm. Mm. I don't remember, teacher. <laughs> and the reds, what do you think? <laughs> no. No, right? Did Bar ride his bike? No, right. No, what did he do? He rode? Skating. Bro, skate, skate. Skateboarding. Ah, skating board. Skating board. And where did Homer go the next day? Go went to the fish. To the beach or to a lake? To a lake. To a lake. Ah, okay. And what did he eat? He ate donut. Donut, donut right? And what did March and the girls do? They go a castle. Some pick mm -hmm. a flower. Ah yes, they picked the flowers. Some flowers. Okay, nice. So we can continue. My goodness. Okay, look at this. We have a conversation. We're going to practice. Okay, so listen up. Uh, we're going to practice the following conversation in pairs. So I have to uh, practice with the classmate, but I'm going to send you that conversation, okay? I'm going to create the breakout rooms and I want to start working with the classmate. Okay, I'm going to send the conversation to the WhatsApp group. Okay, so you can open that. Start joining the breakout rooms, guys.
Okay, so there you have it. So start joining the breakout rooms. I'm going to send you an audio so you can listen to that conversation, okay? So join the breakout rooms, please. This weekend in a restaurant and I didn't play tennis. What did you do? I stayed home uh, and study for my test. For you? Hi, Alice. What did you do the last weekend? I did a lot of things. On um, Saturday, I went shopping. What did you do buy? I bought some new clothes. I also played tennis. Who did you play? I played some. Did you win? Of course, I won. What did you do after your tennis match? Well, I went home and took and shower and then went out. Did you eat in a restaurant? Yes, my friend Jackie and I ate at the good pork. Did you enjoy your dinner? Yes, we enjoy our dinner very much thank you we also drank some wonderful for you again hay que regresar ya creo yo no todavía todavía no no ah pues otra vez hi Alice what did you do last weekend I did a lot of things. On Saturday, I went shopping. What did you buy? 
I bought some new closet. I also play tennis. Who do you play? I play ton. You win? Of course. I won. What do you do after your tennis match? Well, I went home and took a shower and they went out. Do you eat in a restaurant? Yes, my friend Jackie and ate at the Wilfog. On Saturday, I went, in, I went shopping. What do you do? I bought some new clothes. clothes. I also uh, play tennis. Who do you play? I play it on. Did you win? Of course, I won. What do you What do you do after your tennis match? Well, I went home and took a shower and they went out. Did you eat in a restaurant? Yes, my friends Jackie and I I and, and I I ate the good fork. Did you enjoy your dinner? Yes, uh, we enjoy our diner very much. Thank you. We all drank some wonder wine. Unfortunately, I didn't go out this weekend. Unfortunately. Bye, pregunta. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice la palabra unfortunately? Okay. Ah, okay. Unfortunately. 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 Se la voy a poner aquí con. con... Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Otra vez. Unfortunately. Marlene. Unfortunately. 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 Not. Unfortunately. 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 My computer was not working with the audio. Okay, so let's check these sentences. So write the sentences with the words provided using pass of be or simple pass. So I, so what do you think about this one? I. So pass stands for B, guys. I was. Yes, can you hear me? I was. Okay. Interested brother. Interesting. Interesting. Uh -huh. I was interested in this product. In this product. I was interested in this product. Ahí pongámosle ahí la proposición. In this product. Number two. So what do you think about two? You 
You bought. Bought. You bought. The item. 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 When? On December. On December. In. Oh. In December. In December. In December. December. Number three. It was. She did. She read, read. She read the policies. Read. So the only difference is the pronunciation. She read, right? Uh, number four. The supervisor. The supervisor. It's a red impasse. A discount. A discount. A discount. So it's in pass already. Yes, I'm passado. They. They sent. They sent. They sent in my email. Contract to my email. Uh -huh. They sent the contract to. To my email. To my email. Okay. And the last one, he, he was he was he was disappointed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Was disappointed. Disappointed. And oh, estaba yeah. disappointed. Oh, wow. Decepcionado. Oh, decepcionado. Oh, wow. Decepcionado. I was disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? I don't speak English. Where you disappointed? <laughs> okay, listen up. Um, I'm just going to finish with the attendance. And uh, Ana Marlene Andrade. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana Veronica okay. Hernandez. Okay. Blanca Isabel Tunaca. Blanca Luz Delgado. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos Miguel Umaña. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Roberto Argueta. Carmen Elena Mataya Alas. Present teacher. Thank you. Carmen Guadalupe Galvez. Clelia Estela Flores. Present. Thank you. Daniel Alberto Ramos. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you, Diana. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Present teacher. Thank you, Fernando. Jorge Luis Castaneda. Juan Ezequiel Rivera Lemos. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. Okay. Lady Joana Hernandez. Present. Thank you, Lady. Nilton Alexander Vasquez. Present. Thank you, Nilton. Oscar René Molina. Present, Luis. Thank you, Oscar. Rafael Antonio Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you, Rafael. Rosa de Los Angeles Enriquez. Present. Thank you, Rosa and Veronica Elizabeth Burgos. Present teacher. <laughs> Thank you, Veronica. Okay, so we stay with, um, well, Fernando Lanchin is here. Okay, Fernando, you here, Fernando? Oh, hola. Okay, we stay with you today. And in the rest, if you have questions, stay. Y si hay alguien más que tenga dudas, ahí se queda. Nada más un recordatorio. Fíjense que estaba viendo ahí el examen. Y eh, me parece que hay un ejercicio de las primeras, bueno, la primera parte del, del, del quiz que está ahí, del midterm. Hay un ejercicio que eh, me parece que no lleva punto final. Entonces, nada más, si les aparece como mala, quítenle el punto final. Es la segunda oración. Y la primera, eh, me parece que la están corrigiendo todavía. Vamos a, a checar. Pero eh, nada más, pues si les aparece ahí mala, es porque me les hace falta ahí el like. Okay. No, pero eso sería Thank todo. You. Lo podemos ver mañana. No creo que lo pueden corregir todavía. Así que, so there is not any problem about that. About the time. See you guys. Have a great night. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow, bye. Rafael. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Okay, Fernando, you here, Fernando? Hola, hola, Fernando. Hello. 
Hello, teacher. I feel okay. like I'm answering your micro. Ah, okay. Fernando, uh, I don't know if you have any question. No sé si alguna pregunta, Fernando, de alguna actividad o de, eh, o de algún tema en particular. Solo ayuda con la con la actividad número nueve porque no, no puede estar así bien al cien en la clase, entonces no. ¿Me puede repetir? Porque casi no la escuché al principio. En la, en la actividad número 9 de la plataforma, En la actividad número no puede estar bien, entonces no lo entiendo muy bien. Ah, ok, vamos a checar. Actividad 9. Ah, me parece que es el uso de web. Bien, solo vamos a abrir entonces. Eh, bueno, voy a abrir la tarea también. Y voy a abrir el... La información que utilizamos ese día. Yes, give me a second. Okay, so I think that was class number nine. Estuvimos hablando del uso de wood, de wood, del verbo semimodal wood. No sé si me sí. escucha bien o se escucha no, corto. Ahorita sí, lo escucho bien. sí, se escucha bien. Okay. Perfect. Vamos a comprender primero cuándo lo vamos a utilizar. Ok, uh, estuvimos estudiando este verbo semimodal y lo estudiamos para hablar de, del presente del, o del futuro, pero para hablar de deseos o de, sí, de deseos. Por ejemplo, me gustaría tomar un descanso. Eso sería el presente. ¿Qué te gustaría hacer ahorita? I would like to eat. I would like to rest. Ajá, I would like to sleep. Eh, ¿Qué desearías hacer en el futuro? Ah, I would like to study in another country. I would like to travel. I would like to, let's say, study in Oxford, let's say. Or I would like to, um, let, uh, probably, I would like to get another job or to find a job. Entonces, lo utilizamos para hablar de deseo en ya sea el presente o en el futuro. También podemos utilizarlo para hacer offers. Es un offer, es un ofrecimiento. Por ejemplo, ¿te, ¿te gustaría algo de té? Would you like some tea? Uh, would you like a cup of tea? Would you like, a, let's say, yes. Would, would you would, like some coffee? Uh, would you like some coffee? ¿Te gustaría algo de café? Entonces lo utilizamos para offers también. Y podemos utilizarlo para también uh, hacer requests o peticiones. Por ejemplo, um, una request podría ser... Podría ser uh, la siguiente. Would you help me, please? ¿Me verías, por favor? So this is uh, very polite. Lo que tiene diferente es, es que, bueno, could es formal también y más eh, educado, pero en comparación entre would y could, would es eh, very, very polite. Es más, eh, todavía un poco más educado. Entonces podríamos decir, eh, would you like, eh, bueno, aquí para request, would you help me please? Would you... Um, 
will you send that uh, to my email? Entonces acá yo estoy pidiendo algo y acá estoy ofreciendo algo. So will you like some tea? Will you like uh, chicken? Uh, let's say, uh, will you like a salad or will you like a hamburger? Y acá yo hago una petición. Will you send it? Will you send that to my email, please? Entonces damos lo que tenemos que tener ahí en cuenta es la estructura. ¿Cuál es la estructura? A subject would plus a verb. En este caso estamos utilizando would like para hablar también de una preferencia. So what would you like? I would like to rest. Me gustaría descansar. I would like to sleep. Pero también eh, podemos utilizarlo con cualquier otro verbo, no necesariamente con, con like. Por ejemplo, veamos acá. También, uh, you can also use to make hypothesis para hacer alguna hipótesis. O se imagina una situación. Sería, it would be very expensive to stay in a hotel. I will give you a lift, but my wife has the car today. Te daría un aventón, pero mi esposa tiene el carro hoy. So that's my hypothesis, right? I would help you, but I don't have uh, money, for example, you need. Te ayudaría, pero no tengo el dinero que necesitas. Um, pero solamente estamos basados en una situación hipotética. Lo haría, te ayudaría. So I would uh, try Uh, por ejemplo, I will drive, manejaría, pero todavía no tengo mi licencia de conducir. Mañana voy a mis exámenes. Primero Dios la saque. <laughs> ok, good luck. <laughs> Ahí me dice cómo le fue. <laughs> yes. <laughs> bueno, pero todavía, verdad que todavía no están con las nuevas multas, sino que todavía están no. con, las, con las anteriores. Sí, con las anteriores todavía como hasta que lo publiquen en el diario oficial empieza... Me imagino que va a ser, voy a, quizás o sea, el siguiente mes, ¿verdad? Mm, podría ser, pero supuestamente estaban viendo si lo ponían de aquí entre unos seis meses. Sí, muy probablemente, pero si se toma tiempo. No sí, creo que tienen que actualizar toda la base de datos, más las examinadoras y todo eso, entonces. Bueno, entonces ojalá que, que le salga bien todo. ¿Cuál va a ser primero el... El Ahorita práctico. la examinadora, el práctico, visual, teórico. Y el teórico, ¿eh? ¿Y el del BMT? ¿Qué se va a hacer el BMT? Ese le sacan la cita en la examinadora y tiene que ir a esta ya. Ese como que es más complicado, ¿no? Es casi igual que el de la examinadora. Casi las mismas preguntas. <risa> Ojalá. Digo yo. Ojalá, porque yo así he estudiado. <risa> Sí, está una aplicación para, el, para ese del BMT que directamente, supuestamente, es, la, es para ese otro examen, no es el teórico del examinador. Pero sí. eh, yo veo que se parece y a la vez me confunde. Es, es parecido. Ok. Entonces, um, cuando hablamos de hipótesis, también podemos utilizarlo. Oye, una situación imaginaria te ayudaría. O I would. Eh, Right up, a poem, let's say. For, for Harry. But I, but I can't. So I don't have the ability to do it, right? Escribiría un poema. Escribiría. Todo eso quiere decir que este would más un verbo en eh, forma base. Eh, son esos verbos que terminan en día. Yo escribiría, comería, viajaría. Por ejemplo, vamos aquí. Y lo que tienen estos verbos modales es que no, bueno, con tercera persona no hay ningún cambio en los verbos. Siempre va a would y después a infinitivo. No bueno, vamos agregando nada de esas tampoco, nada de agregarle ahí alguna de esas. Would. She would travel. However. Sí. 
she uh, she doesn't have a visa. Viajaría, sin embargo, no tiene una visa. No son situaciones hipotéticas. En este otro caso, eh, también tenemos condicionales. Hay una condición y hay una consecuencia de eso. Ejemplo, I will give her a call, la llamaría, si tuviera, no se pudiera encontrar su número. Si yo tuviera el dinero, compraría un carro nuevo. Entonces, esto es parecido a lo que estamos viendo aquí, de hipótesis, si yo tuviera el dinero, compraría un carro nuevo. Pero hay una, un resultado. Si yo tuviera el dinero, ¿qué pasaría? Compraría ese carro. Hay una, hay una condición y hay una consecuencia o resultado. Y lo que les comentaba a los chicos, empezamos. Tenemos dos cláusulas aquí cuando hablamos de condicionales. Tenemos una cláusula if. No, es decir, una oración. Si yo tuviera el dinero, compraría un carro nuevo. Ahí está separado por una coma. Empezamos con la cláusula de if. If I had the chance to teach, o sea, que tuviera la oportunidad de enseñar, I'll I'd be happy. Sería feliz. Yo tuviera la oportunidad de enseñar. Sería feliz. Entonces, siempre vamos utilizando una forma base después de would. En este caso, ahí tenemos la contracción. Eh, I would. Las contracciones que utilizamos son eh, I. No sé si esta parte la, estuvo en la clase. No. No, teacher, es que andaba manejando porque mi niño se quedó sin leche. <ríe> ah, ok. Está bien. Entonces tuve que salir de emergencia. Okay. Y, ah, sí, me parece que me mencionó eso. Sí. Um, I would, I, you would, you, he would, he. Eso lo que vamos a ver ahí, una apóstrofe más la de. She would, he, he would, lo mismo, he, he, he. Uh, they would, it's would, la pronunciación es would, no se dice ahí la, la L, would, would, es algo como UG, would, would, they would, y tenemos date, and we would, with, with, we would, with. Entonces estas son las contracciones que utilizamos para... Eh, para would. Usualmente utilizamos contracciones siempre. No es muy común estarlo leyendo así en forma larga. Muy claro, sí, pues, eh, escuchar, ¿verdad? Pero es, es bueno acostumbrarse a utilizar las, las contracciones, porque es lo que vamos a utilizar a la larga. Ok. En sí, cuando... las canciones, siempre todas las letras son todas contracciones. Cuando nosotros hablamos, ajá. incluso... ejemplo, eh, el had también se contracta de esta manera. O sea, lo que tenemos que leer es, eh, a veces, es, <risa> ajá, tenemos que leer las, ahí las, las oraciones para, bueno, ajá, para identificar qué tiempo es o qué, qué es lo que están indicando. Bien, eso sería en cuanto a los usos, eh, la estructura, eh, la estructura después de Wood sigue un... Eh, no, base form. Una forma infinitiva del verbo. You'd like, for example, get right. She'd dance. Ella bailaría. Get it. Comería. Perro, eh? They'd, um, for example, they fight. Ellos pelearían. Nosotros, uh, sell another bird. Vale. Traeríamos. We'd bring. Food. Daríamos comida. But we don't have the money. They fight, but they are going to be punished or, or yelled. Yeah, punished. 
for being troubles. Pelearían, pero estarían en problemas. Entonces, esa es la estructura de, de, de Wood en cuanto a oraciones afirmativas. Para las negativas, lo único que vamos haciendo es a ir agregando el not. I would not. Y después agregamos el base de book form. I would not drink. No tomaría. I would not. Hey, no jugaría. I would not. En el caso de una plataforma dice change I change I this world product. Ajá, vamos a verificar eso porque creo que te, no sé si se habrá corregido, había un error en un ejercicio. Pero lo vamos a verificar. She would not write. Y la contracción siempre por acá, negativa, sería I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Y vamos a ir al otro. She wouldn't. She wouldn't. Y lo mismo vamos haciendo con los demás. She wouldn't. She wouldn't. And they wouldn't. Okay, so they wouldn't. Y siempre luego agregamos el base. El base form of a verb. Sería en cuanto a la estructura. Ahora veamos por acá. Okay. Aquí teníamos algunos ejemplos. I would like to go to Spain. I like to go. En cuanto a la estructura, forma larga, forma corta. Subject plus would plus member in a complement. I would like to see a movie. I would like to see. Um, veamos este ejemplo. En este ejemplo tenemos dos situaciones. Puede ir um, un sustantivo o puede ir un verbo. Cuando yo digo I wouldn't like, no me gustaría. ¿Qué cosa? una taza de té. Pero acá digo, I wouldn't like to drink tea. No me gustaría tomar té. Entonces es diferente ahí nada más identificar que cuando va un sustantivo no tiene que agregar el tú. Entonces, mm -hmm. si pues lo que va a agregar es una, eh, un infinitivo, entonces ahí se tiene que agregar el tú. You wouldn't like to drink tea. Porque podría decir, I wouldn't like to drink tea. She wouldn't like to drink tea. O, she wouldn't like a cup of tea. She wouldn't like, no podría decirle, she wouldn't like to a cup of tea. Porque no, va a ser, mm. no sigue un verbo, un infinitivo, sino que un sustantivo. Nada más eh, tener cuidado con eso. Y pues acá tenemos las preguntas. Con las preguntas, lo que hacemos siempre es la inversión. Ponemos primero el would y después va el subject. Después puede ir seguido de él. Bueno, el verbo, seguido del verbo. Y el complemento pues, puede ser ya un infinitivo, puede ser un sustantivo. Would you like a cup of tea? Que es un ofrecimiento. O puede ser, would she like to drink tea? Would she like to drink tea? También puede ser un ofrecimiento. Las respuestas son cortas. Yes, I would. ¿Cómo son este? Estas serían yes, no questions con would. Tenemos, yes, I would, no, I wouldn't. Ya cuando son respuestas open questions, ahí ya es una respuesta amplia. Por ejemplo, podríamos preguntarle a una open question. Recuerda que hacemos, utilizamos las double H questions. What would you um, like to drink? ¿Qué te gustaría tomar? Aquí sí, ¿verdad? Ahí tengo libertad yo de decir qué es lo que quiero tomar. I like to drink. A coffee. ¿Sería tomarme un café? Otra pregunta, otra double H question. Where would you like to go? ¿Dónde te gustaría ir? I like to go to Spain. Me gustaría ir a España. 
Entonces, eh, eso es cu en cuanto a las eh, yes no questions y las eh, information questions, que son estas. Eso es en cuanto a la estructura. Ahora podemos ver. Eh, bueno, no sé si hasta el momento tiene preguntas, Fernando. No, no, no. Ok. Todo claro. Ahora podemos ver el ejercicio. Entonces, la mi opinión. Espero que no sé si me lo modificaron ahí. Bueno, en la tarea 9 tenemos que organizar ahí la oración. Vamos a acercar un poco más. Ahí. I would change this product. Entonces, como le comentaba anteriormente, no necesariamente va a un like. O sea, aquí se cambiaría este producto. I would change this product. En la siguiente. Me parece que había un tú aquí, no estoy segura. Bueno, pero en todo caso sería así. I would change this product. Cambiaría este producto. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la número dos? We. We would. Ajá. Uh -huh. We wouldn't. 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 We wouldn't. ¿Qué sigue después? Un verbo, ¿verdad? ¿no? We wouldn't sí. stay. ¿A dónde? En this place. We wouldn't stay in this place. Entonces, nada más es apegarnos a la estructura. We wouldn't stay in this place. Ahí está. La número tres. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la número tres? Empezamos por el sujeto. Acá ya nos dan una pista. He. He would. Ajá, he would. Que si después una oración afirmativa, ahora pero no, no hay ninguna contracción negativa, seguiría el verbo, ¿verdad? Verbo, he, would, he would buy. Ah, okay. muy bien, pero tenemos aquí a like. Tenemos a like ahí. Entonces sería, he would like, would like. to buy. He would like to buy. Again. Okay. There. Again, he would like to buy there again. Eso es no, no lo he visto. Y acá tenemos una pregunta. ¿Cómo nos quedaría esa pregunta? Would. Seguimos con sujeto. Uh, would, would you like? Uh -huh. Would you like? Un infinitivo y después sería un infinitivo. Would you like to get? Uh, a refund. Uh -huh. So, would you like to get a refund? Y la cinco. They like come to hear back wouldn't. Es una negativa. So, they wouldn't. They wouldn't like. Uh -huh. Like. ¿Qué seguiría después? Tenemos otro like. verbo. Ajá, uh -huh. pero entonces. Uh -huh. No, uh -huh. no, no. To come. Ajá, porque no puedo tener ahí dos verbos, ¿verdad? Entonces uh -huh. ahí tengo, ¿no le gustaría qué cosa? Venir, venir. Venir eh, aquí de nuevo. So they wouldn't like to come back here. Nada más eso que le comentaba, de que después de wouldn't de like, lo que tenemos que agregar es un infinitivo o podría ser este, un sustantivo. Pero si yo lo dejo solamente así, They wouldn't like come. Tengo dos verbos. No sí. Eso no le gustaría venir o regresar. Eso sería en cuanto a bueno, este ejercicio. Ok. Ok, Fernando. Thank you so much. No sé si quedamos ahí bien. <ríe> claro, como la hago. Claro. Ok, perfecto, Fernando. Entonces, uh, nos vemos el día de mañana. So have a great night. Good evening, good night, perdón. Good night. Good night, teacher. Okay, bye-bye.